What's up guys, my name is Bryce and welcome to Bryce Games. Today we're going to be playing Tasty Planet, so let's get started. Alright, so in the last episode we had just made it through the Jurassic World of the Dinosaurs and entered Ancient Egypt, so let's hop right into the next level. Alright, munching on mummies. Eat 98 mummies. Alright, easy enough. <laughs> we're going to eat all the mummies. Are you my mummy? Or, or are you my mummy? I don't know who my mummy is, guys, I'm lost. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, I don't even know what I'm talking about right now, but I am a little curious with all these mummies here Where are all the daddies? <laughs> okay, I'm really sorry for that joke. That, that was kind of bad, but whatever I really do like all these themed levels though. This is really really cool I like how they just have a ton of mummies just laying out on the floor for no apparent reason I mean, I guess they use mummies as like decoration or something I don't, I don't know about you guys, but I tend not to use dead people as decoration, but maybe that's just me. <laughs> right now, I'm just sort of running around trying to find little scraps of paper, and now I can eat the mummies. Yes, I was about to say, it's taking me forever to get these mummies, but now I can eat all the mummies. I will have more mummies than anyone has ever had. <laughs> oh my gosh, we just ate 48 mummies in like 30 seconds, so that was pretty impressive. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, there we go. Got a nice little fan of mummies over there. Yes! <laughs> oh man, they all taste like cookies. This is amazing. I wonder if these sarcophaguses count as mummies. Nope, they don't actually. All right, interesting. So apparently just the mummies count as mummies. The more you know. <laughs> we did it. We found our mummy and made it through the level. Also, we got a bronze medal, so we did it. <laughs> Hippos and houses. All right, let's do it. Oh gosh, we're just gonna... <laughs> We're just eating all these people with some super calm music in the background. That's my favorite kind of music to eat people with. Uh, just nice relaxing music so that I feel nice and calm as I devour innocent people and ruin their lives. So, you know what? I, I, think, I think I'm having a wonderful time. I don't know about you guys, but I am very relaxed while eating all these people. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I'm also thinking about like the Dr. Seuss book, Are You My Mommy? Uh, I just keep thinking about that as I eat all the mummies. That's like the only thing that can go through my head. <laughs> also, we have like a ton of horses or something. Oh, Arabian horse, like Arabian day. I probably just butchered that song, but whatever. You guys, you guys like Aladdin? I like Aladdin. <laughs> I can show you the world, guys. Oh, hello there, hippopotamuses. I can only think about the, the song for Christmas. The, I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. Who would want a hippopotamus for Christmas? Like, why? What is the point of having a hippopotamus? <laughs> and why would you want it for Christmas? I, I don't understand that song. It's always, it's always just been like this weird song that you hear at Christmas and you're just like, why does this even exist? But the world may never know. If any of you guys know why that song exists, feel free to enlighten me in the comments because I am very, very confused. I also can't eat these hippopotamuses yet. Oh, I can eat the alligators though, or the crocodiles. Yeah, there we go. I'm almost the size where I can eat the hippopotamuses. I'm just gonna eat these stone blocks for now. Uh-oh, I can eat the hippopotamuses. Oh, and I grew three times that day. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this is crazy. I'm gonna be eating houses soon. I have to say, this is probably my favorite song for murdering things because it's just so chill as I destroy the lives of them and their friends, so. <laughs> That sounds like a psychopath reason to say something, but whatever, whatever. I just, I just like to ruin the lives of people. Is, is that too much to ask? It's just so cool that we're just sort of going through a city looking for things to eat. That is a really, really cool touch. And eventually, we're gonna eat all the houses and shops and stuff. So, that is so neat. I really like this game. It's just such a, such a cool concept. I love how I'm just demolishing a city in like 30 seconds. Like they probably spent years trying to make all this. I'm just like, yummy, yummy, as I devour everything that they ever worked towards. I am pretty much the worst thing ever. Kevin, Kevin, you should feel ashamed. You've destroyed all these people's hard work and you're not gonna give them any credit for what they did. Yep, you know what, whatever. Kevin, you can do what you want. You're too cute not to let you. <laughs> but you know what, we beat the level so I no longer care about the innocent lives, so yeah. <laughs> All right, so now it's time to play a level inspired by the internet called Cat Worship. So let's just hop right in. 
Man, I don't know about you guys, but I am absolutely obsessed with cats. My family actually has four cats. We've got Ellie, Takedo, Shiba, and Dusty. Those are my four little cats, and they are like the cutest cats in the world. I absolutely love them to death. I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but the rest of the internet is absolutely obsessed with cats. They're in every single meme, every single video. It's just absolutely crazy how much the internet loves cats, and... Personally, I am totally okay with that because I'm a huge cat person myself. I don't know. Are you guys more of a cat person or dog person? Let me know in the comments because I'm pretty interested personally. I mean, I'm just, I'm just a huge fan of cats, but I also really like dogs a lot too because they're both awesome animals and I definitely, I definitely love being around both of them. Oh, there we go. We just moved up another size. I sort of feel a little bit bad about eating all these cats because they are super adorable, but Kevin has to do what he has to do. I mean, Kevin's just petting all the cats. He's taking them all to a secret cat heaven that only Kevin knows about. There's, it's full of yarn and fish and milk, and they're just going to be so happy when they get there. So don't even worry about it, guys. Nothing bad is happening to these cats. We're taking them... We're taking them to the same place that Keyboard Cat and, <laughs> and that Grumpy Cat are at. It's just going to be a fantastic internet-filled place, and it's going to be amazing. Now that I think about it, like three-fourths of all the memes on the internet are cat-related. Just think about it. We've got Keyboard Cat. We've got Grumpy Cat. We've got Nyan Cat. I mean, why are there so many cat-related memes? I don't even understand. <laughs> Cats are certainly pretty amazing. Ancient Egyptians actually used to worship cats, which I think is pretty interesting. I, I really like cats, but I don't think I'd ever go as far as to actually worship my cats. I mean, they're pretty great, but I, I don't think they need to be worshipped. <laughs> I think I think they do enough. Uh, oh, wow, we just jumped up another size. Oh, gosh, we're eating all the giant kitties. Oh, come here, sphinxes. Oh, man, this is fantastic. I think it would be really cool to go to Egypt at one point and like sort of see all the sphinxes and stuff. It's just crazy. I don't think there are nearly as many cat statues in Egypt as this game sort of makes it look like there are, but there are certainly quite a few sphinxes. So I definitely, I definitely would like to see those at some point. I really wish I had like more time to travel. I think, I think maybe at one point in my life, I'd really like to travel more like to go see Egypt or ancient Rome or stuff like that. I think that would just be so cool to like travel and see the world. I think that's probably one of my life goals or of something I just really like to do at some point. I don't know about you guys, but that just sounds really cool. I mean, and seeing giant cats is always a plus too. So you can't go wrong with that. And eat the giant one and we did it. <laughs> oh, and we even got a silver medal. There we go. Figures I would do really well on the cat related level given as how much I love cats. So we did it. <laughs> Also, here's a picture of Ellie and Takedo because they're absolutely adorable and I want to show them off to you. So make sure you give the video a like for Ellie and Takedo. Now it's time for the cow crossing. I mean, they're definitely not as adorable as cats, but I guess cows are okay. Oh, this is kind of a neat level. It sort of feels very Frogger-esque as I'm trying to like go in between them to get back and forth to my goal. That's kind of neat. I really like that. Ow! I just punched a cow in the face. Get out of here. You just look like hamburgers to me. Just giant walking hamburgers. <laughs> is that a bad thing to say? I don't know. Whatever. All right. So this is actually, actually pretty difficult. I'm not going to lie. Just trying to weave in and out of them as I grab all the stuff. This is not as easy as it looks. Oh, there we go. I found the jackpot over on this side. Gimme, 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 gimme. Oh, nice. We should be about the size where we can eat a cow in just a moment. So let's get a little more stuff and we should be able to eat them. Uh oh, now I can eat all the cows. Come here, guys. <laughs> I've got an all you can eat hamburger and steak buffet with my name on it. Kevin's like, oh my gosh, this is the best meal I've ever had. <laughs> this is like easy mode right now. Oh my gosh, if only Frogger was this easy. <laughs> there we go. We didn't even get a medal? Are you kidding me? I did that one so quickly. Ah, oh, dang it. Whatever. I mean, I got cheeseburgers and steak for life, so I'm pretty happy with that one. Now it's time to go ride some horsies. Oh, yes. Hello, horsies. Oh, gosh. That's a really big horse. Oh, okay. I'm eating foals. That makes sense. That makes sense. We're eating some little baby horses. That sounds absolutely awful when I say it out loud, but... I guess that's what we're doing. <laughs> 
I will say that one thing I definitely want to do in my life is ride a horse because somehow growing up in the south I never actually rode a horse so that would be something I'd really like to do someday I think I think that could be really cool have you guys ever ridden a horse let me know let me know in the comments because I'm really curious what you guys have actually what you guys have actually done because I think I think it'd be really cool to ride a horse someday all right so I have a horse joke for you guys hopefully you won't hate me too much for it but why is the horse always so negative because it can only say nay ah, ah. I'm, I'm sorry that was that was really bad <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, I feel I feel ridiculously bad for saying that. Please don't unsub. Please don't unsub. <laughs> Horrible jokes aside, I did manage to get a silver medal, so I did pretty good that time. Now it's time to go to Hungry Hungry Hippo Island. All right. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, the hippo's chasing me. Apparently, hippos are like one of the most dangerous animals in the world. I didn't actually know that until until I was like in high school or something. Apparently they're like super aggressive and territorial and they don't let people get away. Like if you're in a boat or something and you go into their water or whatever and you piss them off, they will knock over the boat and freaking kill you. And I think that's just crazy because when you, when you think of a hippo, you think of this big fat dumb animal, you wouldn't expect it to be like super good at like killing people, but apparently it actually is. I would I would have never known. But then again, thinking of this like giant fat thing running at you that does sound a little bit scary so I probably don't want to pick a fight with a hippo then again they could just sit on me and kill me that way so <laughs> uh, that would be the worst also now all I can think of is the hungry hungry hippo song the hungry hungry hippos <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys ever play that game? I used to play that all the time when I was a kid. It's actually a pretty fun game. You guys should try it if you haven't. And victory! <laughs> there we go. And we got a silver medal. Not too bad. It's time for there's always a bigger fish. Oh, man. Are we going to go in the water or something? Oh, we're really small again. Why are, we, why are we hunting rats? We were just eating like giant hippopotamuses. I'm so confused. And we have some kitties chasing us. Hey, kitty. How you doing? <laughs> the kitties are so cute. I love it. I just sort of want to pet all the kitties. They're so cute. I just I just want to be friends, guys. Kevin will be your bestest friend in the whole world. And they stole my rat. That is so mean, guys. I thought, I thought we had something special. I thought we were friends. <laughs> oh, there we go. Now I can eat the kitties. Oh, I'm sorry, kitty. I didn't mean it. I love you, kitties. Oh, man. Oh, what is that? What is this thing? Apparently there's like a giant Egyptian fox thing. But but I'm so confused. What is what is the fox saying? I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now we're big enough to eat the fox and it's actually a jackal. Okay, that actually that actually makes sense I, I was wondering why it didn't look like a fox or anything that I recognized. Oh my gosh The giant crocodiles are back. They're trying to eat all the jackals. No, these are my jackals. Oh my gosh They do move in herds <laughs> Oh my gosh, I didn't realize that crocodiles ate jackals, but I guess they do eat some kind of meat So that, that makes sense. I guess now we can eat some bass statues. What is a bass statue? Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, can I eat the crocodiles? Yes, I can eat the crocodiles. Come here. Gonna eat this crocodile because he's from the Nile. And the reason that I kill him is his big fat goofy smile. Oh, gosh. Got bars on bars. To be fair, I would kill him if he was from Mars. Oh, <laughs> oh gosh. That was actually pretty good. <laughs> and get eaten, Mr. Crocodile. Nice. We got a gold medal. There we go. <laughs> Not too bad. That crocodile's got nothing on me. All right, so now it's time for Edible Egypt. So let's just hop right in. Judging by the time limit, I would say that this is probably the boss level where we sort of have to kill every single level in succession. So let's see how well I can do on this one. All right, so we're starting to get a little bit of mass. Now I can eat all the scarab beetles. Do you guys remember that scene from the mummy where like the scarabs ate the face off that guy and like ate his entire body? I remember that one like really, really clearly. Like that's probably, probably one of like the scariest scenes that I ever saw when I was a kid. When I was watching the mummy, which seems like a perfectly normal movie for the most part, but it has like two or three scenes that you just sort of like remember the rest of your life because they're like so horribly gruesome when you're a kid. But then I watch them like later on as an adult, I'm like, these are the stupidest looking things ever. How could I ever think that looked even remotely realistic? But you know, that's just sort of how life is, I guess. <laughs> All right. So now we're eating the locust. Oh, 
and there's a mummy on the table. I didn't even realize that the first time I played on this level. That's kind of neat. I like that. Are you my mummy? Mwah! I gave my mummy a kiss. That's it's very sweet of me to do that. <laughs> All right, so I'm about at the size where I should be leaving the table in just a moment. Let's eat a few more things and we should get off the table. There we go. Oh, nice. A nice little naked man. That's that's good. I love seeing random naked men in my life. That's not true and I can't believe I said it. Well, that's something I'm definitely going to regret saying. <laughs> All right, so we're definitely making some progress on this level. I should be able to eat the person right about now. Yes, get destroyed. Ah, oh, delicious. The other white meat. Yes. <laughs> oh, so tasty. Tastes exactly like chicken, believe it or not. Oh, gosh. How did I get outside? Oh, we're just going to eat random ladies. Okay. Well, I guess there's probably some men in there, too. I shouldn't discriminate. I will eat you regardless of whether you are a man or a lady. I am an equal opportunist devourer. Yes, that's a thing. That's a thing. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you are a man or a woman. You are just as tasty. A woman is not 75% as tasty as a man. They are just as... <laughs> what am I even talking about? Ah, uh, I love those little screams that I get as I brutally murder the people. I wonder what actually happens to them. Do they, like, just disappear as I touch them? Or do they, like, slowly get dissolved in acid or something? What is actually happening here? What does Kevin actually do to these people? I need to know. I can't I can't just play this game if I'm not fully immersed in the storyline. I'm probably overthinking this a little bit, but what whatever. <laughs> all right, I should be able to eat these now. Yep, come here. Come here. I can eat all the cows now. Or a what a watasui. What is a watasui? I, I don't know what a watasui is, but I assume it's like a it's like a cow, I I guess. I don't know. Whatever. We're going to eat these hippos and these crocodiles. Nice. We're actually doing pretty well on this one. I really doubt that I'll get a gold medal, but we're definitely making a lot of progress very quickly. So I'm liking my odds right now. I think I think we might actually get to medal on this one. All right. So now we're just calmly destroying the entire city. You know, just Kevin things. Don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, gosh. I can't even think about how many people we are brutally murdering right now by eating all these houses. That's fair. Fantastic. I can't believe I just said that's fantastic to brutally murdering people, but you know what? It happens. It <laughs> happens. Oh gosh, we're gonna go for an entire pyramid, aren't we? Oh man, we just ate. Oh, well, we're going for the pyramid. Nice. We ate an entire pyramid. That's so cool. Walk like an Egyptian. I'ma eat like an Egyptian. Oh yeah. All right, now we should be big enough to eat the final pyramid and destroy it. <laughs> This just in, the pyramids of Giza have gone missing. The goo must have eaten the pyramids. If he ate them 3,000 years ago, why'd they just disappear now? Eh, time travel's complicated. Meanwhile... <laughs> what? What is even happening right now? I'm so confused by this storyline, but you know what? It's pretty fantastic. I wonder where we're going to be going next. All right, so we have successfully eaten Egypt and made it through the magical cat level. So I think this is probably a good place to end this video. If you guys are enjoying the series and you want me to keep going, then make sure you give the video a like because it really does help me out a lot. And make sure you hit that subscribe button to become a legend today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.